what's up y'all so just so you know um if you like really think about it apple um your your phone period and keeps a you know a track of all your locations like everywhere like you've pretty much been your phone kind of like knows it um pretty much it keeps the significant locations significant meaning like um only locations that you like go to like a lot like you at a certain area like your home address like if you've been there multiple times coming from different places then your phone's gonna pretty much track that and keep like a log of all that good stuff so i mean i stumbled across this by um just trying to figure out like how does my phone know that you know i should be heading home after i let's say drop off my daughter or something or um even before i, I drop her off at um her school like it will say um it'll take you 10 minutes to get to such and such school and i'm like it's so crazy like technology is so sweet though um but anywho some people you know that that scares people and they want to be like uh can I delete that feature? Can I turn it off or something? And you can. So pretty much I'm going to show you pretty much how significant locations work. And let's take a look right now. Alrighty. So first you want to go to settings. Then you want to scroll down so you see privacy. Click privacy. Now you want to look for location services. Click that. And then it's going to take you to another page pretty much. But right here, you want to go down to system services, click that. Now it brings up the significant locations on the bottom. So click that and it's pretty much going to open up your significant locations. It's going to ask for either your um, your fingerprint, a passcode or your face ID in my case. So it should still be on significant locations and then you should see my places right up under my places. It just says like my home or something like that. Um, and pretty much like you get that address um, based off of if you saved it to your contact on your phone, like for your own name and your own number and stuff like that. Uh, another way that they choose um, like your home is based off of where you spend the most of your time at pretty much like um, since your phone is, you know, steadily, I mean, constantly using GPS is tracking you and seeing where, you know, where you at most of your time. And so that's how they um, go about choosing Oh, this is your house, even if you don't save your address to your phone. Um, so then right below that, it shows your other significant locations. So them significant locations would be pretty much like a city um, and a state or just sometimes a city. And um, it'll show like how many times like, you know, how many visited locations you have within that city. Okay, so now I went and clicked on home and it says 1.46 p.m. to 6.21 p.m. arrived via a five minute walk on May 9th, 2020. So that beginning time and that end time, that's how long I stayed at that significant location, which was my house or home. And it took me what that the arrival part. That's how far I was from my house, if that makes sense. So depending on if I was coming 35 minutes away or 15 minutes away, depending on what, you know, whatever city I'm in, then that's the arrival time that it's going to say there. And that time in between is the total time you spent at that significant location. So that's how that part works. All right. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on Livonia, Michigan. So once you click on the city, it's going to show different like locations within that city. So the first one on mine is Middle Belt Road. It says I've been there seven visits between March 16th and May what 9th. So some areas it won't say like an actual name. Instead, it would just show like uh, um, a, a street pretty much. So like Middle Belt is saying that it could be like a shopping center or whatever. In my case, I believe it was Meyer, I believe, or something, or a couple of places in that area that I spent a lot of time at. Um, and then you see some places where it actually say like the actual name, so like Walmart. So as much as I really complain about Walmart and, and being up in there, it's, it clearly shows that I be there a lot still though. Um, so yeah, so what I wanna do is I'm just gonna click on one of these right quick so you can see um, pretty much how it works all right so I went ahead and just clicked on buddy's pizza so this particular day um, between 6 32 p.m. and 7 3 p.m. I was at buddy's and it says I arrived via 15 minute drive so pretty much it's trying to say that um, between those times um, it took me 
what, 15 minutes to get there from like wherever I was coming from, which I believe I was coming from home. So 15 minutes from my house and from those two times or whatever, that's how long I was there. So pretty much when I got there, it was a, you know, a long line because of the whole, you know, COVID-19 situation. So that's why I was there so long. Okay. So it's pretty much a, a way where you can delete uh, significant locations as far as like individually so swipe over on your finger and then it's going to pop up and says delete so you can just click delete and it will delete that specific location that you were talking about um and then you can actually turn significant locations off by just toggling the switch at the top um and then a message pops up saying disabling significant locations will affect many apple apps so it doesn't really like affect just you know this specific like settings app it affects other apps such as photos or maps and stuff like that so for example like if you're um typing in um a, a address to go to like um let's say you're trying to go downtown or something like that in that same like app it might pop up and say oh it'll take you 20 minutes to get home it knows where you at and usually the time you spend at home it keeps track of that so based off of these significant locations so if you delete these, then it won't know like, oh, okay, maybe you should be home at this time or um, it'll take you such and such amount of time to get home. So that's what that can affect. Now, <clears throat> this significant locations can be used for good and bad, pretty much. Um, a good thing about it is that you can use it for, let's say you got to like log your hours and days at your job, but you forgot to do it and you're behind and you can't remember exactly what day I worked or you know what day I didn't work if you go to your significant locations you can see where you went to work that day and it'll show you the exact date and the time as well all you gotta do is just know the city that you you know you worked in and it should show up uh, especially if you've been there uh, multiple times at that location now the bad is pretty much tracking you know your boyfriend or your girlfriend whoever your significant other is saying like oh you said you was here but your significant location said you was elsewhere now i mean this is for educational purposes don't you know go out there and just do that you know <laughs> but i mean the the phone not gonna lie though so i mean if it say you was here at this time and you took a 15 minute drive to get there then most likely you were there and you weren't where you said you was so i mean that's one thing um but you know if you feel like this video was good you know you um found it you know very informative or whatnot you know like it subscribe to my channel if you already haven't and you know share it with somebody else all right y'all stay safe